हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास आई टोल्ड फॉर यू इन द चैप्टर कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री ट्राई टू सॉल्व सम एग्जांपल क्वेश्चंस सो व्हाट दे हैव गिवन इन द टेक्स्ट बुक ही इज गोइंग टू गिव सम क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू एग्जांपल वन ओके आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ एप्सिस एंड ऑर्डिनेट ऑफ द पॉइंट्स आई टोल्ड फॉर यू द आंसर ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन आल्सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द एप्सिस एंड ऑर्डिनेट एप्सिस मींस एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट एंड ऑर्डिनेट मींस वाई कोऑर्डिनेट एक्चुअली so so many points are given for you uh, m in the second quadrant and b in the first quadrant uh, l in the third quadrant and s in the fourth quadrant and uh, try to identify the quadrant also it may be as good in case of multiple choice a point will be given to you and uh, he may ask in which quadrant this point is present like that so for this one you just you need to identify the signs so that is if it is a positive comma positive means both coordinates are positive then it is first quadrant and the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive then it lies in second quadrant and both x and y coordinates are negative then it lies in the third quadrant and if x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative then it lies in what fourth quadrant remember this one identification of quadrant also and after that you can uh, identify the uh, what uh, coordinate x uh, x coordinate and y coordinate already parallel lines are dotted okay so and then you can uh, you need to write on this one in the graph sheet okay it is better if you write on this one in the graph sheet so look at the figure and write on this one in the graph sheet it's compulsory and paste this one okay so cut out that uh, graph sheet and uh, then paste this one below the question and then Uh, write on the answer that is uh, coordinates of uh, uh, different different points so x coordinate lies on x axis y coordinate from the y axis now look at uh, point b okay for the point b so now two parallel lines are already dotted uh, already drawn and it touches x axis at 4 it means x coordinate is 4 and it touches y axis at 3 that means its y coordinate is 3 like this in the same sense if you move on to the next uh, point that is m in the second quadrant uh, the point m when we draw the uh, dotted lines like that okay uh, it meets the x axis at minus 3 sign is very important remember you need to consider sign also minus 3 x coordinate minus 3 means abscissa are minus 3 and it touches y axis at plus 4 okay no need to mention plus sign okay it will be understood just write on 4 it will be enough so 4 is actually what ordinate of this point m so therefore the coordinates becomes what a minus 3 comma 4 always write on first x coordinate and then y coordinate like that so that's why i'm going to write on here once again so for the point b for the point b the coordinates are actually like this 4 comma 3 Four comma three. So this is abscissa, and second one is ordinate. And for the second one, yam is equal to minus three comma four. So that's why x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is positive. Second quadrant. Okay. So then I will move on to the next one, yam, which lies in third quadrant. Now look at here. It touches x axis at minus five. Okay. First consider the x axis, and then it touches y axis at minus four. Okay. Minus five comma minus four like this. This is axis are and this one is what ordinate. In the same sense, uh, the last point for the last point S is equal to uh, first write on the x coordinate three and then y coordinate minus four. Okay, three comma minus four. So all these points uh, respectively lies in uh, first quadrant, uh, second quadrant, the third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Okay. So now uh, I will move on to the example two. Example two. it is similar uh, but it had dotted lines are not given for you i think okay and most of all the uh, points lies on the axis i told for you whenever it lies on the x axis or y axis one coordinate will automatically become zero if it lies on x axis okay so you need to remember this one very important on x axis on x axis okay then its general form is like this x comma zero means y coordinate is zero if only x coordinate will be present in the same sense if it lies on y axis if the point lies on y axis then it will be of the form of zero comma y axis means x coordinate will become zero only y coordinate will be present like that okay so now here 
if it lies on x axis just uh, identify what is the x coordinate and y coordinate is zero always so that's why i'm going to clarify for you for one one or two more points okay now look at here the point four okay so uh, the point a okay for the point a it lies on x axis at four i think okay so that's why its coordinate becomes what four comma zero because it lies on x axis that's why in the same sense if you consider the point b point b it lies on what y axis okay so that's why it will become 0 comma 3 because it's on y axis that's why in the same sense you can identify the uh, coordinates of c coordinate of e also okay so now look at here coordinate of e are actually like this 2 by 3 comma 0 but uh, uh, it's already mentioned okay so one uh, he is going to locate the point e below that he is going to mention that uh, uh, value okay uh, now look at the figure carefully 2 by 3 is given for you so 2 by 3 means the point uh, where e is present okay that is 2 by 3 that's why it is mentioned for you then you need to write on what 2 by 3 comma 0 like that if it uh, exactly placed at the integer value then it will be very easy but it is in between uh, uh, two integers consecutive integers it is uh, difficult so that's why you need to mention at what position it is present on the x axis now it is given for you 2 by 3 okay so that's why it will become what 2 by 3 comma 0 similar sense d lies on y axis it will become 0 comma minus 4 remember sign is also important if uh, its coordinate is negative means uh, it lies on x axis and moreover one of the coordinate is uh, negative means it lies on negative axis Positive means lies on positive axis. Okay, so uh, this is about the uh, position of a point, identification of a coordinates of a point uh, when this point is already located in the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. Now move on to the exercise uh, 13.2. The questions are very simple. Okay, it may be asked in one mark section only. Uh, so now look at the first question okay all the questions all the uh, first uh, question okay in the first question there are three sub questions for you all these questions are uh, basically related to that uh, Cartesian uh, plane coordinate plane so now look at the first one what is the name of horizontal and vertical uh, lines drawn to determine position of any point in the Cartesian plane okay so now the answer is very simple he is going to ask what what we call horizontal lines okay what we call horizontal line in quotation coordinate system so i told for you initially horizontal means like this in this direction okay so horizontal line is actually called as what it's called as x axis okay you know this one already okay so that's why directly write on answer horizontal line is called as called as x axis okay x axis and in a similar sense the vertical line okay vertical line means what the line present like this it is called as what vertical line if it is vertical in means it is actually called as what in the co coordinate plane called as y axis okay so actually the coordinate plane is like this so this is actually what horizontal line and this is actually what vertical line and the horizontal line is actually called as what x axis and the vertical line is actually called as what y axis so that's why that it will be enough for vertical line vertical line is called as is called as y axis is called as what y axis okay so now look at the second one so second one is actually like this uh, what is the name of each part of the uh, plane formed by these two lines okay what is the name of each part okay so means when we draw the two lines okay Cartesian plane will be formed a uh, coordinate plane will be formed so now i told for you initially in the starting class i told for you it divides this plane okay just consider this one it will be enough for you okay just consider this portion just consider this portion okay so this coordinate plane divides this region into four equal parts 
okay and each part is called as what he is going to ask for you like this each part is called as what each part is actually called as what a quadrant i told for you they are actually called as what quadrants okay and they are number like this first second and then this is third and this one is actually what fourth okay so that's why the answer is very simple uh, quadrants each part is actually called as what quadrants okay now i will move to the third one so now look at the third one write the name of the uh, point where these two lines intersect so, these two lines refers to what x axis and y axis okay these two lines means x and y axis when x and y axis uh, intersect at each other at a single point they are going to intersect at a single point okay now look at here so y axis x axis so they are going to intersect at this point what do we call this one this is actually called as origin and denoted by what o what are the coordinates of origin 0 comma 0 okay everything is now for you uh now write on it's enough okay if you write on origin it is called as origin if you want you can write on denoted by denoted by o capital letter o write on capital letter o and the coordinates or and the coordinates or coordinates are 0 comma 0 okay 0 comma 0 Okay, it will be enough. Just if you write on origin, it will be enough. This is a additional information for you about the origin. Denoted by O and uh, uh, coordinates are actually what? 0, 0. So now move on to the second question. So diagram is already written. Remember one thing. You have to write on this one in the graph sheet only. Remember. This diagram you have to write down in the graph sheet. Don't write down in your notebook. Write down this one in the graph sheet and then cut out that uh, figure and paste this one below the question. Okay. So because uh, if you write down this one in the graph sheet then only it will be uh, clearly understood for you. That's why. Okay. Write down this one in the graph sheet. Uh, I think you know you have the knowledge of uploading the graph. So that's why. Uh, write on this one as it is by taking the scale uh, one centimeter is equal to one unit like that usual scale so then plot this one like this x axis y axis and then uh, try to write on the uh, digits up to here okay and then uh, mark these points and then write on the dotted lines the lines will be ready for you in the graph sheet okay uh, because uh, uh, the lines are already plotted in the graph itself graph sheet itself so that's why you will definitely get this one as a perpendicular okay so parallel to x axis and this perpendicular to x axis like that okay so that's why write on this one in the graph sheet and then a solution you need to write on in the uh, notebook so now look at here just is going to ask what now look at the question first uh, see figure 3.14 and write the following it is going to ask the coordinates of b are okay now look at the point b where it locates uh, where it is located uh, it is located here so the coordinates of this point okay now look at here so dotted lines are already are already plotted it's going to intersect at what minus pi and here at 2 okay so that's why the coordinates of b are actually what b is equal to coordinates are actually like this minus pi comma plus 2 okay no need to write on plus just write on like this minus pi comma 2 and the second one the coordinates of c now look at here this is the point c so now look at here first x coordinate that's why look at here it is going to intersect at 5 and here minus 5 this one remember minus 5 okay that's why 5 comma minus 5 coordinates of c are actually what 5 comma minus 5 okay now look at here definitely it lies in the third quadrant in the third quadrant positive negative okay it is right so now uh, the third one the point identified by the coordinates minus 3 comma minus 5 so there is a point uh, whose coordinates are minus 3 comma minus 5 you need to identify by the letter minus 3 comma minus 5 look at minus 3 on x axis it is present here minus 3 minus 5 minus 5 on y axis it is present here okay so now look at here so the point e is actually what having coordinates minus 3 comma minus 5 so that's why right on this is the first one second one third one okay e is having E is having coordinates. E is having coordinates as 
minus three comma minus five. Okay, minus three comma minus five. Next one, third one is over. Now look at the fourth one. The point identified by the coordinates two comma minus four. Fourth one, so similar one. Uh, two comma minus four. Now look at the figure. Two comma minus four on x-axis two and the y-axis minus four. G is the point. Okay, so G is having G is having coordinates. Coordinates as uh, what two comma minus four, okay, two comma minus four, and the fifth one, okay, look at the fifth one. Uh, fifth one is actually what just is going to ask axis means x coordinate, axis of the point D. Now look at here, uh, D is the point here it is present, okay. What are the coordinates? Six comma two, six comma two. Among this, which is the x coordinate? Six. So means it is the axis. So that's why I don't axis. Axis of D is six. Okay, you must write on six. If you write on two, your answer will be wrong because it is ordinate. That's why he is going to ask what axis. That's why. And the next thing, the ordinate of the point H. Okay, so six one he is going to ask what ordinate of H. H is the this is the point H. And what are the coordinates? If this one minus five comma minus three, minus five comma minus three. What is the ordinate? Minus three is the ordinate. Okay, now write on axis. Axis. Sorry, ordinate actually is going to ask. That's what I write on. Ordinate of ordinate of ordinate of. So what is the point? Uh, point is actually what? D after the H. Okay. Ordinate of H is okay minus five comma minus three. That's why minus three is the ordinate. And the next one, okay. So seventh one. So seventh one is like this. The coordinates of the point L. Okay. Write down the coordinates of L. L coordinates are actually like this. Okay. Uh, I think I forgot to mention this one. Point uh, M. Okay. M is actually located here. So this is the point M. And the point L is actually present here. Okay, these two points are actually present on the axis. Remember, so that's why one coordinate will definitely become zero. So first one, coordinates of the point L lies on y-axis and it is present at what plus five. So that's why coordinates of L is equal to okay, coordinate of L or or just write on L is equal to zero comma five. Okay, in the same sense. The last one, okay, eight one. So the coordinates of M, M lies on x-axis and it is located at minus three. So that's why the coordinates become what minus three comma zero. Okay. So now this is the answer for the question number two. This completes the second first sec. Okay. Uh, this is actually second exercise. This completes the second exercise. After now, uh, write on the notes. Uh, from the next class, I am going to continue this one. Okay. Thank you.